Hello all, this is David Rodriguez, Quantitative Strategist for DailyFX.com, here to take you through this market, this signal. We're basically going to be talking about a number of different trading strategies that I've followed for uh, years now, and, and just to give you a bit of backdrop on myself, in case you've never followed along with me before. I'm Quantitative Strategist for DailyFX.com, the research arm of FXCM Incorporated, and when I first started FXCM, I basically split my time between the research desk, Daily FX, and the systems trading desk, which at the time also managed the uh, FXCM Managed Accounts program. In other words, we would actively manage clients' funds. Uh, unfortunately, due to changes in regulations, FXCM is no longer able to do that. So what we did was take those strategies that we used in our, in our Managed Accounts program and converted them into trading signals. Well, it seems like we're almost coming full circle. We're still not able to offer managed accounts, but one thing we can do is allow you to automate those same strategies via your trading platforms. And that's exactly, you know, I'll go over the, the strategies themselves, and also I'll, I'll have uh, my colleague Aaron on hand to go over exactly how you would actually do that via FXM's Mirror Trader platform. Before we get started, Disclaimer as always. So first and, and most importantly, you know, leveraged FX trading, like any leveraged trading, um, is risky. You can multiply gains, but you can just, just as easily multiply losses. And especially when you're trading with leverage, you don't want to do it with anything other than risk capital, i.e., you know, capital that you don't want to lose, but if you lost it, you wouldn't be in, in dire financial straits. Past performance is not indicative of future results, uh, which means, in short, you know, I'll be talking about past performance, and one of the great things about Mirror Trader is that you can actually see you know, how the system is done very recently, broken down by currency pair, which is um, fairly helpful. The, the key caveat there, though, is that just because it's worked recently doesn't mean it's going to work in the future, and I'll be talk about, talking about my own trading methods with these systems, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm not your financial advisor. Um, this does not constitute investment advice. Daily effects can't accept liability for any loss or damages. And, you know, on a personal note, I'm obviously telling you things that I believe myself. You know, it's no exaggeration to say that, you know, this is actually how I personally trade the market. At the same time, you know, I'm far from om omniscient. And, um, you know, just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you or just because it's worked for me in the past doesn't mean it's going to work going forward. So uh, I have a question, or I'll, I'll get to all the questions at the end of the presentation, but this is a, a quick one. Will there be a recording available later? Cannot watch now. There absolutely will be, and you don't have to do a thing. We'll email the, the archive presentation to you a bit later. I'm also getting indication that the sound is cracking. Um, I can't replicate that on my end exactly. So. Um, the sound should be okay. Let me know if, you know, if, if that's a common issue. Okay, I got another person saying sound is good. Um, it's, it's the internet and sometimes the connection isn't that great, but as far as I can tell from my audio mixer, we're okay. All right, so getting right back into it. The hows and whys of automated trading in FX. It's basically, you know, talking about, well, this market, this signal, is a fancy way of saying um, this is exactly what we're looking for given this type of market. And I already said so in, in kind of the preamble or, or the, the introduction, but basically we're looking at automated trading in FX. You know, a uh, couple of weeks ago I gave a presentation entitled This Exactly, The Hows and Whys, um, but realistically, um, the, the real question becomes, okay, well, why would I trade automated strategies? And then obviously the how, how would I do it? Why? We'll go over that in a second. The how is probably the least understood concept in foreign exchange, and we'll cover that in detail. So let's get into the why. So this is a, a study that I you know, basically our, our regulator in the United States, the National Futures Association, said that as a Forex broker, you have to tell your clients, you know, what percentage of your clients are profitable. 
And basically, FXCM's uh, business model means that if clients are losing, you know, we're not making money because we, we get compensated via the, the bid-ask spread. Well, FXCM took that a step further and said, we're going to build educational materials around, you know, kind of the common pitfalls and try and, and show this to everyone, not only showing you, you know, I, I won't mince words, the, the, the stats aren't pretty, but realistically, we want to know why and, you know, ultimately how we can avoid it. And the reason I show you is this. You know, this is a, uh, an interesting chart. Basically, we basically measured about 12 million real trades between two, the end of 2009 to the end of 2010. And in those 12 million trades, we broke it down by currency pair. Let's say there were 100 trades in the euro dollar. 59 out of those 100 were closed out at a profit. So these are real client trades. Um, over a calendar year, 59% of the time, traders closed out gains at a profit. So why even bother? And, and I should also mention that this excludes all automated trading. Why even bother with automated trading if you're making money most of the time? Well, I say it all the time, but it's true. You can't eat winning percentage. And the problem is that each of those gains was worth an average of 65 pips. Each of those losses was worth 127 pips. And, you know, this is data is a couple years old. Actually, it's a bit appropriate that I'm talking about it now because I'm working on updating the figures. Um, but basically, I watch this data every day. Um, or not exactly, you know, on a per trade basis, but I watch what the crowd is doing every day. And I can tell you, it just doesn't change very much. What I want to focus on here is that most of the time, clients are right. Most of the time, the majority of traders are right. 59% of the time in the Euro US dollar, traders closed out at a gain. And that's great until you consider that each of one of those gains was worth, you know, just barely half as much as each one of those losses. So, you know, why auto trade? Well, let's think about it. What's going on here? This isn't, this isn't something completely novel. Um, but basically what it comes down to is you have to cut losses early. You know, admit when you're wrong. The, the worst thing is, is to spend a long time at your your desktop and so on, uh, looking for a trading opportunity and, and you know, going in with conviction, um, with your capital behind your, your cursor and going, going ahead and click buy or sell. The worst thing is for it to go against you and, and basically prove that you're wrong. To close that trade and to cut that loss before it grows bigger is basically to admit that you're wrong. And that's psychologically difficult to do. On the other side of things, you know, one of my least favorite quotes in all of finance is that no one ever went broke taking a profit. And that's technically true, but you're not going to make money either if your, your losses are twice as, as large as your gains. So on the flip side, you have to have the confidence to let it ride when, when you're right. And this is very psychologically difficult. This is the why of, of auto trading for me personally. I can tell you that you know, I, I look at this data and, and it doesn't seem that foreign to me. And I can tell you that in talking to a lot of clients, the exact problem surfaces. It's just too hard to admit that you're wrong and cut losses early. And it's very difficult to then, you know, let's say take a 300 pip loss on the euro and then all of a sudden have the guts to, to just let it ride when you're floating a game the next time around. You know, and that's what it comes down to. The average trader gain per per winning trade is far smaller than the average loss. And we can help control that by using stops and limits. But there are, you know, basically, it's, it's a little difficult to do that. Again, the, psycho, the psychology of trading is the most important part. Um, and that's ultimately what it comes down to. Trading is all about controlling risk and first and foremost, controlling your emotions listen, I wouldn't be a quant strategist and I wouldn't be so focused on auto trading if I were really good at, at, at discretionary trading. And this is ultimately what it comes down, for me per, comes down to for me personally. I need to control emotions. So that's the why. Why auto trade? The how, that's the least, important, least understood notion in all of FX, in my opinion. If there were a strategy that made money 100% of the time, I would not be doing this presentation right now. I would be trading from my private island and just not caring. Um, 
Unfortunately, that's just not how it works. Uh, so beyond just giving you a strategy, and again, if I have had one to, I had one myself, I wouldn't share it. You know, beyond just giving you the strategy, it's about understanding the process and ultimately using this to trade to your advantage. So, you know, at the very beginning, you start with an idea. Once you have that idea, you refine that idea, you back and forward test that idea, which becomes very easy with our, our mirror trader platform now, uh, more, so, more easy than it has been in the past, which is, is actually quite exciting for me personally. And then you, you go through and you, you see, okay, what worked and what didn't. And you go back to square one. Is there something I missed? Is there something that needs to change? And this is exactly you know, what I personally do and what's worked for me using auto trading strategies. So let's go back to you know, what real traders do. And it's important just to understand in and of itself, and we have a wealth of information around this, um, basically showing you, you know, how you might avoid this. But let's see if we can use this in our trading, actually. So again, let's go back to our example, and I'm going to focus on the EURUSD dollar because that's what most people trade. 59% of the time, traders are right. Okay, so far so good. On the opposite side of things, they're wrong most of the time. I mean, when they're wrong, they're really wrong. When they're right, they're only a little right. Can we use that to our advantage in kind of setting up a trading strategy? I mean, I don't mean to spoil surprise, but that's exactly the data that we're using. The, the real trader data, the sentiment data, is the heart and soul of our automated trading strategies. Now, if you know FX, you know that there's no one place to trade FX. So how do you measure when most people are buying or most people are selling. I wouldn't be talking about it if we didn't have that on hand. And sure enough, you know, FXCM as, a, as an important FX broker probably has access to one of the most representative samples uh, from which to draw retail trader data. And, and it's important to, to specify that we're looking at a specific crowd because ultimately we're using this in a very specific way and retail traders um, trade quite differently than professionals and so on. So what I'm talking about right now is the FXCM Speculative Sentiment Index, the SSI for short. Well, the SSI tells us most people are buying, most people are selling. And if I hadn't shown those couple of slides, uh, this might sound especially counterintuitive, but the fact is that we most often use the SSI as a contrarian indicator to price action. What's that mean? If most traders are buying, we typically look to sell. If most traders are selling, we typically look to buy. And just like anything else in trading, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. So our automated trading strategies, again, the heart and soul of our automated trading, the Daily Effects Plus automated trading strategies um, is the SSI. And I want to talk a little bit more about the SSI uh, in the, the following slides. So this chart has a whole lot going on. Um, but before you, your eyes, you know, if you've never seen this before, it might look intimidating. It's really not. So let's take a look at this. So this is a Euro US dollar chart. Um, it's a little bit old, but I can tell you that there are much more up-to-date examples. And you can see this um, on my weekly SSI report on dailyeffects.com. But, okay, so this is a Euro US dollar chart. The Euro US dollar rate is, is plotted on that black line. It's a line chart. And before I explain the, the red or green um, vertical bars, I'll explain the numbers at the bottom. So that's called the open interest slot. Um, that red line shows you how many open orders are currently short the euro US dollar as per our trading sample. The green line shows you how many traders are currently long as per our trading sample. Well, if there are more traders long than short, then the, the vertical bar up here, the SSI ratio, will be greater than 1, will be positive. And, you know, the magnitude of that ratio, so let's say that the ratio is at 1.5, means that there are 1.5 traders sh uh, long for everyone that's short. If it's at negative 1.5, it means that there are 1.5 traders short for everyone long. So what I've done here is, you know, we're, we're at the research and design phase. We're, we're just creating a very basic system. I'm going to say if, you know, if, if traders all of a sudden turn short from having been long, I'm going to go in the opposite direction and buy. If they've all of a sudden turned long from having been short, I'll go in the opposite direction and sell. 
So I, I put those red and blue arrows on the chart to point out exactly when that's occurred historically. So what you see is that when the euro is going lots of nowhere, which it actually does most of the time, um, going against the crowd doesn't work. And that's exactly what we saw in our data. Most of, most of the time, uh, the majority of retail traders are correct. So if you're going against that, you stand to lose and lose rather frequently. The thing is, though, that once the trend starts in earnest, there's a strong chance that the crowd will be wrong. And that's exactly what we see here. You know, traders flipped from net long to net short the euro at approximately the 128 mark. And they stayed short until they flipped back to net long at about the 138 mark. So in theory, you could have made up to 1,000 pips on that one trade. And, you know, to be fair, you lost maybe a few hundred here. But the name of the game isn't winning percentage. You know, it's how much do you make at the end of the day, you know, your equity from point A to point B. So that's the broad backdrop on SSI. You can find that information once a week on dailyeffects.com and twice a day on Daily Effects Plus. And this is what that looks like. You know, you have the SSI ratios as well as the daily and weekly changes in long and short positions. But I'm most interested in the trading strategies. So, you know, the, the most common question I get is, well, you know, the SSI looks great, but how do I actually translate that into a buy or sell? And that's exactly what the trading signals uh, do. And that's what they have done. We actually had the Manage Accounts program live using the SSI data before we shared SSI publicly. And we found it so useful that, you know, we put it in front of clients. And again, the changes in regulation meant that we could no longer manage clients' funds, unfortunately. So a couple of the, the strategies that I watch. Um, I will send far more in the way of information on these strategies, but just to give you a be broad backdrop, because this presentation is really more about the methods than the actual end result. This is one of my favorite strategies um, of all time, really, um, but one of my favorite SSI-based strategies, certainly. Um, it's called the Title Shift or Momentum 2 system. Uh, they're the same thing. If you see both names, they're the same strategy. Um, if crowds are the most long they have been in the past 145 hours, the system will go short. If the crowd's the most short in the past 145 hours, the system will go long. And all that is is that if traders are the most bullish or bearish they have been in the past week, the system will go in the opposite direction. And that's exactly what the system does. And just a, a broad recap, again, the system will do well on, in times of strong market trends. You're going against the crowd. The crowd makes money most of the time. You can expect to lose more often than you gain on momentum too. But at the end of the day, you know, we have to make sure that the, the, the gains outweigh the losses at the end of the day. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. Another one of my favorite strategies is the breakout two system. Um, and all it is, is uses a very simple 24-hour uh, uh, trading range, you know, a 24-hour breakout strategy, which is as simple as can be. You know, so if price breaks to its lowest low of the past 24 hours, it'll look to sell. But if and only if the majority of traders are long. If price breaks to its highest high of the past 24 hours, it'll look to go long. But if and only if the majority of traders are short. And that's exactly what differentiates this between uh, or against uh, a plain vanilla 24-hour breakout trading strategy. So, again. So much of this is the process, much more so than the actual trade results. And part of that process is assessing, you know, when does this work? When does it not work? Well, if you look at SSI data, and I have, I'm looking at when do tra traders make money and when do they lose money? Because we're going against the crowd. Well, if you look at average trader profitability compared to volatility, you'll see that the majority of retail traders actually lose when markets are very volatile, which is a big deal and it's a big finding if we're trading against that crowd. So what I've done here is, on the x-axis, on the horizontal, I've plotted what I call the volatility percentile. So if the number, if the number goes from 0 to 100, 
and I break it down into quartiles. So one, two, three, four, as you might imagine. Anything um, up to 25% is one, above 25% but below 50 is two. I mean, yes, two. Above 50, below 75 is three, and above 75 is four. Again, the numbers from zero to 100, and 100% represents very high volatility. What I've done here is that, say today is Wednesday, which it is here in New York, I take Tuesday's number to predict Wednesday's trade result. And on average, we see that if yesterday's volatility number was above 50%, traders actually lost money. This is based on real data in the dollar yen. Traders actually lost money in the dollar yen, which obviously is relevant if you're going against the crowd. If the number was below 50% yesterday and markets were much quieter, traders on average actually made money. And it's kind of surprising. And this is actually a chart I discovered well after we had the SI-based trading strategies, by the way. Um, it's almost surprising to the degree that this works. And this is exactly why I use volatility as a major contributor to selecting systems in a, any given week. So every week I write uh, what I call a weekly strategy outlook. You can always find it via that link right there. I'm going to go ahead and type that in into the chat box. So you can always find the most recent um, strategy outlook report via that link. And all it does is show you a table just like this one um, and talk about you know, which strategy looks good across which currency pair, given where volatility stands and given where, um, you know, the overall trend stands. And I'll even break it down into individual currency strategy over here. Um, the best way to follow this, and because I'll also do intraweek updates, this is updated every Monday morning, which is actually how I set my trades myself. Um, I'll also up, update within the week if conditions change. And you can always follow those via my email distribution list right here. So I've been talking about this, um, these systems for years now, literally, uh, because we've offered them as, as training signals for a number of years. But a, a recent change that is, is really quite um, exciting for me personally is, is to offer them um, for full automation via our Mirror Trader platform. So with that, you know, I see a number of questions piling up here. Feel free to keep uh, dropping those in there. We'll absolutely get to every single question uh, you have. But now I'm going to pass the control of the presentation. You're going to see a blip on your screen. Um, I'm going to give control to my colleague, Aaron McGee, who will take you through the Mirror Trader platform and ask, answer any questions you have on you know, the actual account trading process. So Aaron, are you there? One second, let's just make sure that Aaron is on there. Bear with me one second. Hi, thank you, David, and thank you to the audience for joining us today. All right, I'll pass over presentation duties to, to you, Aaron, and go ahead and do a screen share. Okay, thank you. Thanks, David, and thank you again to the audience for joining us today. My name is Aaron McGee, and I'm working as a financial representative here at FXCM, and I'm also a keen and active trader. So my contact details should be on the screen for you here, should you wish to contact me with any questions after this session. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking to you today about the MirrorTrader platform. It's a platform that I love trading with, and I feel this way because this platform makes me feel like a better trader. And so David has just gone over some of the advantages of our automated systems here, looking at the examples based on our study that we've run in the past, some of the number one mistakes that some of our losing traders make in this market are trading with emotion. So what this means is that when your trade goes against you, close it out. It's better to take a small loss than try again later if it's appropriate. 
So what I mean is that if uh, it's better to take a small dose early and a big dose later. So that there alongside with not sticking to your, your own personal preset strategy as well as not participating enough, all would come into play. So I do think that the automated systems we have at Meritrader um, resolve a lot of these issues here. So these automated strategies that you will see on this platform have been tried and tested by experienced top four traders from all over the world and have underwent a stringent qualification process before being accepted to this platform. Uh, one second, Aaron. Let me just go ahead and interrupt you and say that you seem to have a bit of a problem with audio. Uh, just make sure that you can um, maybe turn up the, the microphone a bit or um, I seem to get a lot of interference or, or wind. So uh, let's see if we can improve okay. audio on that. I'm sorry about that. Okay, does this sound better? Yes, it does. Okay, so I'll continue then. So these um, automated robots that you would have here with the Meritrader here, they're pre-programmed they're pre-programmed logic here. So they're going to not go outside that logic here. So this is why we have for you the Meritrader platform here. So traders can benefit from the universal login from using the Trading Station 2 login details which the live account and demo account holders are already familiar with. So that platform, uh, the Meritrader platform, is free and the strategies are at no cost to our traders here. Okay, so to access this platform, if you just go to our website here, so fxcm.co.uk, and then right at the bottom here, you're going to see the Meritrader platform. So if you just click on that there, and then it will open up this. And then when you log in here using your demo details or your live account details, it will then bring you into this here, into the trading platform itself of the Mirror Trader. So then once you're logged in here, you're going to see a comprehensive trading platform here. There's some unique tools here for trading. So you're going to have live signals, sentiments, there's going to be market charts, oscillators, and chart study all within this platform. So Meritrader does allow you to enjoy hundreds of these um, buy and sell strategies. You can evaluate them and you can also mirror them and apply entire strategies here to your trading account. So let's just take a look here at one of the, the best parts of the Meritrader is the automatic trading. Okay, so to start in, start in automatic mode, you would click here on the strategies where I'm clicking on now and then you click on clicking on the portfolio. Okay. So, so selecting the right strategy is really the key to having success with it here. So Meritrader does provide for you a set of filters here to help you locate strategies that are according to your own preferences, which you would find here. So you can select different filter them out here to your own preferences. Go so back to the automated strategies. We have here, we have added here the daily FX signals into this system. So what you're going to, when you're logged in here, under the strategies tab, you can view all of the current daily FX strategies here. There's a top daily FX button here. Now when you click on this, it will load all the top daily FX signals. I'm clicking it here, and here, I'm scrolling down through, you will see all the top daily FX signals at this time. So to add these signals here, once you've found the currency pair that suits your trading interests and you'd like to trade this, then to get this to begin trading for you on your platform, all you would need to do then is click to add this strategy here. So let's go, for example, to the breakout strategy here. Let me just show you a very helpful tool here. It's the strategy card. What you're going to see here is different graphs here showing the, the history of this. and then statistics, then you have the open positions with this right now, the trading history, and then just a description of it here, which can help you make your decisions on this one. This currency pair here is the Euro U, sorry, the Euro Yen. So then if you want to go ahead and add this signal to your strategy, 
then you go here and then click on this plus symbol here and you can add that to your portfolio. So then what you have here is size of the trades you want to open up and the different parameters here that you want to set up. So let's just select this one here. So once you select this here, it will then be added to your portfolio. And as soon as the signal comes out, you're going to have you're going to start having open trades on that position. So here it is here in the portfolio tab here. So as at the universal login, you can also view these positions. Once this would open, you can see these positions on your trading platform as well as the mirror trader strategy continues to work for you. And you can also manage your open trades on the trading station platform as well as here. So another great feature of this platform, I have to say, would be the basket trading here. So this here, it allows you to trade major currencies here in terms of basket mode. So trading baskets here would allow you to buy or sell one currency that is weak or strong, and then you can affect trade it against the other currency pairs. So a major benefit to this is that you're diversifying your trades and you're not being overexposed to just one currency pair. And then so there's other two other big features on the on the on this platform. We have the semi trading here. So you're gonna which will I'll sh to do semi trading mode, you're gonna go to live charts and then live signals. And then in this blue area here, which I'm just moving the, the pointer around, a signal will appear there. None has appeared just at this time, but it tells you when the last signal appeared there. It put those arrows. So once the signal appears, you have 30 seconds from that moment it appears to mirror it, and then add in the different sizes of the trades here to go forward. And then the final option you have on this platform is the manual trading. Oh, by the way. One just popped up. So these are the signals that you can go and you can mirror. So let's just do an example. As you see here, you have 50 seconds, 49 seconds, and so on. So if you want to mirror this one here, you enter in the size, and then mirror, and it will go to your portfolio there. So let's go into the manual trading mode. So you're going to go to your chart, your live chart, and then you can place trades from the top currency pairs or, for, or CFDs that you would see along the top here. If you wish to change these around, then you can just click on this little pointer here and then manually remove or add as you see appropriate and then select view and it will refresh the screen here. Okay, so if you have any questions after the session today, or you'd like to follow up with me afterwards, I've given my contact number and email address there, so you can contact me direct, and I can organize for you a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough of the platform with one of our Meritrader specialists, or help you set up a demo account. Uh, if you already have a live account, then all you need to do is just log in to your, put your current login details that you already use on the current trading station platform. Excellent. Thank you, Aaron, very much for that. And uh, like Aaron mentions, actually, I'll make sure that everyone gets Aaron's contact details uh, right now. Uh, and more importantly, uh, like I said earlier, we're go going to go ahead and answer any and all questions that you have. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take presentation duties back from Aaron, so you'll, you're going to see a quick blip on your screen. But basically, I want to make sure that everyone completely understands uh, both. Uh, well, Aaron will be on hand to answer any and all account questions, because that's not really what I do here. But I can absolutely answer any and all questions about the individual strategies, as well as make sure I send out uh, to anyone who signed up for this webinar, you know, full instructions full strategy logic because there are a number of Daily FX Plus trading strategies on there. So I want to make sure that you have all that information at your fingertips. Okay. So 
let me go ahead and go to the very beginning. Uh, let's see. Richard Angelis asks, for SSI, what is the minimum ratio to make it worthwhile taking guidance from it? So that's an excellent question, question Richard. I actually, well, I do pay attention to the absolute ratio. Uh, my favorite um, purely SSI-based strategy actually looks at the direction of, you know, the direction it's headed. Not actually, you know, for example, right now there are more traders long dollar-yen than those short, which would normally leave us bearish. It would normally put us in the opposite direction. But actually, if you look at Momentum 2 right now, for example, and I'll go ahead and, and bring up our, our uh, you know, one of the easiest ways to just check. I mean, you can obviously log into Mirror Trader at any point, but if you're on Daily DailyFX, uh, click on Daily DailyFX Plus, log in with your live account credentials. So I'll just log in with... Um, an account I have here. Click on trading signals, click on classic signals, and you can see exactly what each system is holding. Um, and MirrorTrader does a much better job of this, but summarizes recent performance in the specific strategies. So if I click on that right now, you know, like I just mentioned, more traders are long dollar yen than short, so normally that would make us bearish. But actually Momentum 2 went long dollar yen from 97.86 because most of the traders were selling on the margin and that's exactly why I like this system. So to answer your question Richard, um, there isn't a great direct answer for it. So um, oh, I see what happened here. Aaron was having issues with um, just sending every, uh, something to the entire audience. I apologize for that. But again to get back to your question Richard, it's really about not only the, the absolute ratio, but also the direction. So this is Aaron's contact email. Um, for Feel free to reach out to him directly if you have any questions about the account opening process or would like to be set up with a you know one-on-one -on -one platform walkthrough. Gabriel uh, Ducario, I apologize if I didn't pronounce that correctly, said, asked, is there a chance that the SSI will be updated more than twice a day? I think it will be useful. I agree with you, Gabriel, or Gabriel, um, and that's definitely something that I'm personally working on, but I don't have a timeline for that right now. What I will say is that the, the, the best way to follow the SSI, in my opinion, is just to watch the trading signal strategies. And that's exactly why, you know, I make it clear, and again, we'll send resources that tell you the exact strategy logic. I make it clear that if this system is buying, it's because the SSI is quite bullish or bearish and so on. Bob Max asks, is the crowd ever right? Actually, Bob, most of the time the crowd's right. The question is, at the end of the day, are they making or losing money? And, and that's exactly the, you know, honestly, and I've gone over this question a, a lot, or not your question in particular, but basically, if the crowd was right, I would have a lot less to write about, and maybe our daily FX Plus trading strategies would do less well, but as a business, FXCM would be in much better shape. The best we can do is make it clear that if everyone's buying, it's probably not a good idea to be long, and that's exactly what we're doing here. So that's an indirect answer to your question, Bob. I mean, the fact is that most of the time the crowd is right. Uh, the unfortunate fact is that at the end of the day, it doesn't mean much because um, the losses are much larger than the gains. Uh, Richard asks, title shift and breakout two, what's the backtest data for the last 100 trades like? Um, so you can go ahead and, and jump on Mirror Trader and check that out yourself, Richard. I can tell you for a fact that Title Shift has done quite well on, on a number of U.S. dollar pairs in recent history. That doesn't mean it'll continue to do well, although I personally do believe it will. Um, I could be wrong, obviously. That's my personal opinion. But um, that's the beauty of Mirror Trader. You can jump on and and kind of push the buttons and and you know the. I think the best thing you could do is, you know, try it out on a demo account and, you know, try on, on a basic paper forward test before you commit any capital to it. That's what I would do. And I, I would definitely never suggest um, that you try anything or that you put live capital behind something that you haven't at least tested out on a demo. Greg asks a great question. Is there a scanner to help reduce the number of 
Uh, Greg Turner asked a great question. Is there a scanner to help reduce the number of possible trades? And that's exactly what I try and do on dailyeffects.com. Again, if you go to bit.ly slash strategy outlook right there, it'll always take you to the most recent version of my strategy outlook. And what I try to do is here, um, Greg, is basically narrow it down to, to one strategy. And sometimes there's more than one strategy. And, and occasionally I'll say that in the text. But, you know, for example, on Monday I wrote, our major focus remains a momentum two strategy, also known as title shift. That This is my screener personally, Greg. Um, one of the issues, and I definitely um, see where this question could come from, because mirror trader can be quite overwhelming if you have no kind of screener. And, you know, I, I don't, I've only ever used the, the, or to any real degree, I've only ever used the daily effects plus trading strategies and similar in my own personal trading. I can't speak to any of the other systems on, on mirror trader, but you know, for the daily effects plus strategies, which I obviously believe in, I'm a little biased to be clear. Um, this is exactly what I do to screen those trades. Okay. Let's see. Greg asks another great question. Is SSI and MirrorTrader web-based, i.e. don't have to have your computer open on, on computer on all the time? Um, so the SSI is, is absolutely web-based. You can only access it via the web. But MirrorTrader is not only web-based, but server-side based, which is different. You know, maybe you've seen some of my content on fxcmaps.com and the, the fact that you can also automate these strategies via you know, your own trading platform, that's all client side. Mirror Trader is all server side, which makes it that much easier to use. And one of the major reasons why I think Mirror Trader is a great solution if you're interested in automating these trading strategies. Uh, Gustavo Salazar asks, um, actually, before that, Tom Logman um, says, can you trade micro lots in the mirror trader? Uh, yes, Tom. So anything that you can trade on your trading station, desktop, web, or mobile, you can trade on mirror trader because the same login works across the board. Gustavo Salazar asks, hello, I would like to know if the session is going to be available on daily effects. It will not be available directly on dailyeffects.com, but if you're registered for this presentation, you will absolutely receive an archived copy. So keep an eye out for that. It should be within, honestly, probably the first 12 hours or even less. Thank you for the kind words. Ako Eswabana. Greg asked for, uh, for Aaron's details it's right there. Um, Samuel says, greetings from Mexico, likewise, or from New York. So Emmanuel asks a great question. Where can you see the various stops and targets if one decides to trade breakout two? So like I said, I'll absolutely make sure that you have all the resources available to you um, in um, that email. But you can also find all the, the details on breakout two on dailyeffects.com right here. Actually, this is a video that details all of those um, stops and limits. There's also a, a written article on the same. Um, let me go ahead and find that for you. And that's a pretty, pretty quick um, Google search. No, I don't want the video. Uh, let's find out. Mm, having a tough time finding it right at the moment. But it's there, I promise. Um, actually, I know where to find it exactly. And, and before I'm done here, actually, I'll just link to the most recent uh, SSI report, which will absolutely have all the information you're looking for. Uh, let's see, where am I? Sentiment. So this is where you find SSI data on a weekly basis. And I can show you all the information on Breakout 2. This is Momentum 2. And breakout two is not far behind. Let's find it right here. And here it is. So I'll make sure that you get all those links so you understand everything that's going on in those strategies. Mm -hmm. 
So Richard points out that 1.22 doesn't sound like it's that significant today. The crowd is overwhelmingly in one direction or the other. That's perhaps true, Richard, but the you know keep in mind that with breakout two, it's primarily just a, a 24-hour breakout trading strategy. And the filter is so low because you know sometimes you're entering long positions and maybe not maybe the crowd isn't so one-sided yet. You know, some of the best breakout two trades happen before the SSI gets too extreme. So that's exactly why we use only 1.22. So I have a comment here. The history of your trading signal shows more losing trades. And that's absolutely true. Again, you can't eat winning percentage. So if I made money on every single one of my trades, I'd be in great shape. If I made money on 99% of my trades, I'd probably be in pretty good shape, but if on that one trade I, I erased all of those gains in one shot, then that's not so useful. And that's exactly why I say, you know, winning percentage is only part of it. Uh, at the end of the day, our trading strategies are not designed to be high percentage winners. They're designed to, you know, take advantage of the bigger move. And at the end of the day, they're going to be more often wrong than right, because we know that if you go against the crowd, that's probably going to happen. All right, Renaud says, on the trading signals page of DailyFX Plus, I can see the recommended stops for all the trade details, but limit column is blank. You also provide profit targets once the trade action has been initiated. That's an excellent question, Renaud. Uh, some of those systems do not use hard profit targets. So if you do not see something in the limits column, that's exactly why. Um, that, those links that I've just posted uh, go over the exact trading logic for each Breakout 2 and Momentum 2, which are the two um, systems I most closely watch myself. And that will take you through um, why they don't and um, how they manage trades otherwise. Um, Bob asks, what's the success rate of your trading signals? Again, Bob, the beauty of Mirror Trader is that you can look exactly at how the systems have done and take uh, decisions accordingly. Hugo asks, is there an iOS version of Mirror Trade? Um, so I, by iOS, I think you mean um, iPhone? Yes, that's correct. Um, there will be a mobile version of Mirror Trader available in the next month or so, Hugo, but the best way to, to use this right now is just to go directly to the site, uh, which is Flash-based, so it would not work on your iPad or any iOS device, but Again, the, the mobile platform is on the way. Uh, Richard says, the try strategies and mirror on demo then must open or use it on an already open demo account and synchronize account numbers, right? Uh, Richard, actually one quirk right now is that you have to ask for a demo account directly to our um, sales or financial services staff. So that's, that's the only quirk. Soon you'll be able to produce your own demo account, but in the meantime, for demo trading, you do need a specific mirror trader demo. Um, Nose Rotoa asks, your graph shows 59% of winning trades versus 41% of losing trades. Um, should we conclude that your clients are currently losing money on the Euro Star pair? So actually, I can answer that question right now by going to DailyFX Plus to the SSI, because I just updated it. Uh, it shows that the majority of clients are currently short euro dollar um, but it's almost near neutral it's almost near one so realistically um, our clients aren't doing much of anything on euro dollar right now and if you open a chart you can see why it's been chopping back and forth the past few days so euro dollar isn't a great example but um, you know that that's how we would view that uh, Greg asks or says am I'm an end-of-the-day trader, so is SSI still relevant? Absolutely, Greg. Uh, honestly, I'm more of a swing trader. I look to stay in trades for a few days to a few weeks at a time. I discovered a long time ago that I'm not good at all uh, trading intraday. So that's an excellent question. Uh, realistically, I think that these, these mirror trader strategies, given the, the, the general time frame, um, is actually perfect for you know, position traders and end-of-day traders. Richard asks, uh, can you explain how one sets the size to be traded? 
So that's more of a mirror trader question, uh, Richard. Again, um, Aaron will absolutely set up, you know, a walkthrough on the mirror trader platform. I can tell you that there's going to be a a, a more thorough mirror trader walkthrough here on on uh, fxcm.com today at 3 p.m. So you can go ahead and ask any and all questions there. Uh, let's see, where did that, that go? Today's Wednesday. Uh, today, Wednesday at 3 p.m., Mirror Trader platform walkthrough. And this link is incorrect. So you can go ahead and watch that today at 3 p.m. Cheers, Akko. Uh, Belsalian asks, uh, I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. Is it recommended to close positions on Friday? Um, there was a point that there were so many things going on on the weekend that I would have definitely said yes. More recently, I mean, markets have been very active, and the, the risk of, of there being a gap open on Monday's open or Sunday night is still fairly significant. But at the same time, you know, to be honest with you, Valsalian, I'm not currently closing my positions on Friday like I used to just several months ago. Tom asks an excellent question. What do you do if there's a lot of event risk? Do you shut down the system? A lot of the times you get false breakouts on high-impact news events. That's a great point. And one of the things I do, Tom, because sometimes it will be in your favor, so you don't necessarily want to be completely out of the strategy. But one thing I'll definitely do is reduce leverage. Um, reduce my exposure in the market. If I'm currently long 10 lots via breakout two, I'll narrow it down or I'll bring it down to five and so on um, it's it, it's exactly like that again I don't necessarily want to com come completely out of the market per se but I don't want to leave my account subject to undue risk and you know a great example of that is uh, fairly recent the FOMC our our trading strategies did quite poorly following the FOMC unfortunately and and one of the things I said ahead of time was you know this could be big Let's make sure that we're not too leveraged on our account. Diego asks, how many pips in, on average do you expect it to win? Um, so that there's no real answer to that, Diego. Uh, you can see how the system has done recently, and, and you know, assuming that it will continue to do well, which isn't the best assumption, but it'll at least get you somewhere. It'll give you a sense. But, um, you know, for example, breakout two strategy, uses a number of fixed profit targets. So, you know, that answer is a lot more straightforward. And that should give you a sense of what's going on. Um, let's see. Renault asks, what's the average trade duration among mirror trader users? I'm not sure, Renault. Uh, two, what is the average uh, number of pips captured on a monthly basis for mirror trader users? If you can freely disclose those informations. So I don't actually have that information, Renault. Um, and actually, to be perfectly honest with you, I've not been very involved with the mirror trader process at all. I come at this from an analyst perspective, talking about our Daily FX Plus trading strategies and using mirror trader as a means to an end. So um, I don't believe we have that information, or at least we can't share it, Renault. But I will tell you that, again, I'm focused on what I'm personally doing and how to, to improve my own trading. Thank you for that, nonetheless, Reno. Appreciate it. Uh, Bob Max asks, what's the difference between FXCM and Daily FX? So uh, Daily FX is the research arm of FXCM Incorporated. So we are under the umbrella of FXCM Inc. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, we are an independent branch. And again, I look at FXCM products as a means to an end. I mean, obviously, I, I very frequently use one s significant FXCM product, which is the SSI. And, you know, obviously, if I want to use this information, I need to go via FXCM. Um, and that's exactly why, you know, I, I want to make sure you understand that I'm coming at this from my own personal trading experience, my own trading background. I'm in no way compensated by anything you do on Mirror Trader. Um, so, ultimately, my interest is to drive interest in the, the SSI reports and, you know, what we do on the research side. And again, we put tons of resources in, in traders' hands to improve trader performance. This is definitely one of them. 
HJ asks, do the auto trading results mirror live trades? Uh, yes, yes, they do, HJ. Um, thank you, Renault. Uh, Greg asks, which time zone is the, the, the calendar that you showed so I can convert it into my, my uh, local time zone? So I believe this, this uh, reads right. So if you just visit that link, uh, Greg, Greg, it'll convert it to your, uh, your local time zone. You don't even need to convert it at all. Um, so to, and, you know, right now I'm in Eastern time, so this is in New York. Bob Max asks, what is the relationship of the two? I'm not sure what you're, you're, you're asking me, Bob. Um, so go on. Oh, oh, oh. On the, the, it's just a name, uh, Bob. There are six strategies on there. There's uh, Momentum 1, Momentum 2, Breakout 1, Breakout 2, Range 1, Range 2. Um, and basically some not-so-creative people <laughs> decided on names and just decided to call them 1 and 2. Is is uh is the, the long and short of that. Renault asks, what is Daily Effects Plus? So Daily Effects Plus, unlike Daily Effect, so dailyeffects.com, free to everyone. Daily Effects Plus is only open to FXCM's live clients and or uh, people who pay twenty dollars a month for the privilege. So that's the difference between Plus, and that allows us to offer resources that we wouldn't make available to the public because obviously it's, it's in FXCM in, FXCM's interest, especially given the business model, which is uh, agency execution, so non-dealing desk, to make sure to put as many resources in the trader's hands as possible. Uh, let's see. Renault asks, any ballpark figure for the monthly subscription price to access mirror trader signals? Should I ask a commercial representative regarding this matter? Renault, there is no fee whatsoever uh, to access the mirror trader signals. And that, this is actually fairly new. So actually, I'm glad you asked this question. But um, that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm as excited about mirror trader uh, as I am um, because of the way that Basically, you can use the same login information for any platform we offer. There's no fee at all associated with MirrorTrader. It used to be that there was a markup, no longer. Um, there's no markup whatsoever on MirrorTrader. Excellent. I agree, Renault. So with that, I've answered every question in the box. I'll put um, the best way to get in contact with me, honestly, um, and I do respond to email, though sometimes they pile up very quickly. And Twitter is an excellent resource if you're not on there already. It's completely free. You know, all you have to do is go, you know, at D. Rodriguez FX and ask me any and all questions. If I'm at the computer, I can get back to you within a few minutes. Um, I'm getting a question about Renko and range bars on the platform. So those are not currently available. Um, but... Uh, I don't have a timeline on it, but that's something we are aware of. That is a client request. And uh, hopefully we'll have that sooner than later. But again, um, Twitter is the best way to get in contact with me. If you want to receive, or well, you'll receive the archived version of this webinar by doing absolutely nothing. If you registered for this webinar and you're hearing me right now, you'll get the webinar. But if you want to receive my personal reports on a weekly basis, you can expect around three to five emails a week. And I guarantee you no spam. Uh, just sign up via that link. Uh, my email address is here, though I will warn you that any time-sensitive uh, questions, you know, Twitter is really the best way to get in contact, and I'm very responsive there. Emails pile up. I can't promise that I will get back to you very quickly, unfortunately. It's just a matter of, of resources. All right, great. Thank you all very much, uh, and thank you, Aaron, uh, for giving us that great walkthrough. Uh, again, Aaron's information, as a reminder, is right here. Um, amcgee at fxcm.com. I pasted it right there in the chat box. I thank you all very much. Um, thank you for the kind words, Renaud, uh, and a couple other comments on there. Hope to see you soon on dailyeffects.com. And again, keep in touch. Best of luck trading.